Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. My name is Moon, and today I wanted to review my Pebble Grain Crossbody from Dooney and Burke. I absolutely love this bag, and I have been using it now for a while. I ordered it a few months ago, and I love the classic colors here, love the shape of this bag. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how I'm using it and what can fit inside this gorgeous crossbody bag. So this bag measures about nine inches in width, about six and a half inches in height, and two and a half or 2.75 inches in depth, somewhere in there. So it's a good sized pochette. If you're familiar with the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire bag, uh, this is fairly comparable to that, but definitely wider. Definitely you can fit more in here, which is awesome. But it does kind of taper in at the top here, which is a little different. And I love the two-tone colors here. The fact that you've got this rich chocolate brown lining there and with the Dooney and Burke logo there with the little duck. I think that's so beautiful. And then this pebbled black which I am just loving. The classic colors here are so beautiful. They actually remind me of Brighton bags. And uh, I'm a fan of Brighton bags. I don't currently have one in my collection, but I would say those were the first handbags I bought that were, you know, a, an investment for me where I was spending two, $300 on a handbag. And I started to do that, you know, a few years ago and now I've sold those and I may want to add another Brighton bag to my collection just because I love that brand. But this really reminded me of that. And of course, I love Dooney and Burke. I just love their leather. I just love their look. There's just something classic about it. Uh, something kind of almost equestrian about their handbags, which really appeals to me. So this comes with this adjustable crossbody strap here which is you know fairly thin i would say about half an inch or so and you can see the stitching on there is beautiful and the strap does come off so that's really cool if you wanted to add a different strap on here or use this bag as a clutch you can definitely do that which is kind of cool but i do like that option if you wanted to use this let's say as a pouch within a really large tote or something or even a medium-sized tote you could do that or you could change up the straps which i always love that option with bags i like flexibility and just being able to wear the pieces whimsically creatively so i really do appreciate that now the gold zipper here is really beautiful look at that the condition's great and since I've had this, I've used it a handful of times. I just really, really love the pochette style. And so my goal in getting this was that I love the pochette style bag and I wanted something in a black, in like a darker shade. I have the old model pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton. I also have the new model. The old model's in monogram print and the new model is in Damier Azur print. So I have kind of like a brown and a white and the black gives me a casual neutral option i have another like pochette style bag from um Dooney and burke and it's like a richer black it's in the safiano leather and it's more compact than this pochette i love that bag too and i think of using that one for dressier occasions or a date night whereas for me this is like i'm popping out and i need a bag that can fit a decent amount, but I really just need my essentials and maybe a couple of extra items. So this uh, fits that bill perfectly. And again, the condition is great. It's also one of those bags where, let's say you're going out somewhere, you need a bag, you want it to look kind of nice and something fun in your collection, but also maybe not something that's a real pop, something kind of classic and neutral where you don't necessarily want to draw attention to your bag, but you also enjoy wearing it. That's kind of how I see this bag, that it's sort of low key, but also nice. And I definitely reach for it for those moments where I don't necessarily want to flash a label or flash a print or a bright color. I just want something that's uh, classic and simple to use, and this fits the bill great. I love this top zipper on any bag on my pochettes. I just like the ease of use 
And I'm definitely someone I've realized who appreciates comfort and efficiency when it comes to bags. I mean, I definitely have my bigger like Neverfulls and other types of bags too that can be fussier depending on how you use them. But I've learned to work with those bags too. But for a quick pop out or again, for those moments where you wanna be able to have easy access to your items, what a great little bag. So let's take a look on the inside here. And there is some paper as I have this bag currently in my closet. But I was thinking about it lately, how I wanted to reach for it and use it a little bit. Look at that gorgeous red interior. I love it. I just think it's so stunning. There is like a zipper pouch on one side here. And in that zipper pouch, oh, actually it was open. <laughs> so I closed it. But in that zipper pouch, I have the registration card. I'm gonna put that aside. But you could fit a card case in there, a packet of gum in there, some change in there. And then there's another like open slip pocket on this side where you could fit your phone maybe. I'm recording with mine right now, but uh, I know that the phone fits in there just fine and a nice good sized uh, main compartment. So how might I pack this bag if I was going out? Well, I would definitely need my keys. And this is my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton in the monogram print. So I'm gonna put that in there. I might also need my key pouch. And I keep cough drops in here and maybe like a hairband or something. So I like to carry this with me. I'm often reaching for my cough drops. So that fits in there just fine. And now I'm just going into my tote here and reaching for my card case which is like my mini wallet for compact bags. And these days I've actually been using this in my Neverfull GM. I just, I love a card case. I, and this is so beautiful in the fuchsia color and the monogram print. And it just transitions easily into a bag like this. So, so far we still have a bunch of space in there, right? We've taken up a little bit of space, but not too much. I'd want some Kleenex with me if I'm popping out. I'd also like to take my sunglasses with me. And these are these cat eye sunglasses that I've been using for years. They have prescriptions in them and I keep updating them. I just really love this pair. They're just so simple and easy to use and they're cute. So I'd like to throw my sunglasses in there. And then I'm reaching into my tote to see what else might I need here. Well, I would definitely like to take my hand sanitizer nowadays a must and actually just a good practice to have that with you so i've got my keys i've got cough drops i've got my card case i've got kleenex i've got sunglasses and i do have my hand sanitizer now here is my pm cosmetic pouch in the damier Eben print one of my favorite items and one of my favorite slgs love this this could fit in here on its own but it's going to take up too much space so there's a look at the inside of this. And I'm just gonna grab a couple of essentials, my inhaler, some hand cream, a lip shimmer, and a lip gloss. And I think that should do it. I have more lipsticks and things in there, some eye drops. But if I'm just popping out, just a few of these essentials would do. And with that, I would also slip in my phone. But I think you could also fit in a few other knickknacks if you wanted to. But with my phone and with all of this, really, I am good to go. I have everything I need. But as you could see, you could lop in a couple of extra items in there if you needed to. I'm just going to grab my small round coin purse. I use this actually to store my earbuds. So if I have my cell phone and I know I might be sitting somewhere like, I don't know, waiting in a dental office or something and I could listen to something on my phone. I like to have my earbuds with me. So I could also fit that in there. And again, the phone should just fit in fine. And then you zip that up and isn't that beautiful? And you got everything in there. And again, such a pretty bag. You could use it as a clutch, why not? Uh, I typically don't uh, prefer the clutch style, but I do like it that I have the option on this bag. 
There's a strap that I like to use with a lot of my bags in my collection, a sort of a neutral black strap. It's so comfortable. This is from Dress Up Your Purse, and it's got this like patinaed um, caramel brown leather clasp on either side. So this is not an exact match by any means. And I think a lot of people might say, oh no, if it's not matching, you can't do that. For me, I like to kind of mix and match. I'm a bit whimsical with my style, so I wouldn't mind this. And it's such a comfortable strap that depending on what I'm wearing and what vibe I'm going for, I wouldn't mind throwing this on here. It would give it a more informal look. I think mainly I would use it with the thin strap that the bag comes with, but I just wanted to show you that as an option on here. And you could also order this from Dress Up Your Purse with a different color here. So if I got this, like maybe with a richer brown, that would match better. And in fact, looking at it now, I might even think about doing that. But I just wanted to show you again how nice it is to have the versatility with this particular bag. So I'm just gonna put the strap back on here. Makes me so happy to have this piece and to bring it out here and show it to you. Now, one thing I've done with this, just to kind of bling it up, just for fun, is to take this little bag charm, this black palm, and I have used this on here, just to give it a fun look. And isn't that pretty? I love this, I think that's so beautiful. Now, if you're going for that like incognito, simple bag, I, I don't think this blings it up too much, but I wouldn't put this on when I just wanted something kind of neutral and you know simple looking. But depending on my mood or where I was going, I might throw this on just for fun. So anyway, that was my review today of this pebbled crossbody from Dooney and Burke. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I would love to have you follow me. And let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the pochette style bag with the top zipper? Do you like it? Do you um, gravitate towards it or is it not your thing? I love to hear from you and I do my best to respond to every comment. Thanks again for listening and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.